Next tonight, a new £16 million animal research centre has opened in the East Midlands and unusually we have been able to have a look around. Yes, scientists at the University of Leicester know the risks posed by animal rights campaigners but say they want to be open and transparent about their work. Which is why our cameras were allowed in. As our health correspondent Rob Sissons reports, the work being carried out in the labs is aimed at improving treatment of heart disease, strokes and cancer in humans. In the new theatre this mouse is anaesthetised, having a drug pump fitted. One day it might help stroke patients live longer. Within minutes the mouse is in recovery, tomorrow he'll have a stroke induced. There are people who are completely opposed to, to using animals in research, just as the people who are opposed to eating meat, and we respect the views of, uh, of colleagues who, who feel that, but it's necessary, it's still vital that the general public understand the benefits that have accrued from using animals in research. There are more than 2,000 animals here, mainly mice and rats. The unit breeds them. There are no plans to use dogs or monkeys here. The staff say it can feel uncomfortable balancing the welfare of animals versus humans, but insist this is vital work. There have been projects here that have led to improvement in kidney transplantation, the treatment of cancers affecting the liver. And they've used mice to investigate how curcumin, a curry spice ingredient, can slow the spread of bowel cancer. We give them the curcumin in their diet, so they're eating it orally every day, and we, we measure the tumour growth manually. This £2 million MRI scanner will reduce the need for experiments. There's the latest ultrasound, and these toads are being kept for studying their eggs. Well, here at the University of Leicester, they're hoping to start a new era of openness about animal experimentation. They say they're not being defensive about what they do. They insist they've got nothing to hide. This is more of a why shouldn't we than we, we want to defend ourselves. Uh, we, we actually, in the process that establishes the research, we have to justify both the science and the uh, ethics of what we do. They hope other scientists will follow suit. Rob Sissons, BBC East Midlands Today, Leicester.